What's up guys, it's James from Fish Steaks and we're back with part two of our Sim Brief tutorial video. Today, we're gonna be taking the flight plan we made in Sim Brief. We're gonna be inputting it into the FMS on board the A320 within the game. So, note flight planning on Microsoft Flight Simulator itself. We're gonna take everything from Sim Brief. Let's dive into the video. So the first thing I wanted to cover really quickly just on sim brief is I have changed up my flight plan a little bit just to a plan that I preferred a little bit more it's slightly more scenic route but it doesn't change anything from the video um, if you're sticking with the original flight plan or you've made your own you're just following along with the steps really but exchanging things for your own or you can select the same flight plan as me which is this one here if you want to edit your flight plan at any time you can just come up to edit flight make any changes and then you can generate a new flight and you'll get a new package PDF ready to go. So with that in mind, here's our PDF. We're gonna go now over to the game and start entering our details. So first things first, we wanna go to world map. So first of all, we're gonna select our departure airport, but just the airport, that's it. That'll show us our airport. Now it automatically puts you on the runway. We know that we don't wanna be doing that because we haven't even got our flight plan set up. So we certainly don't wanna be on a runway. So you can manually come in and select a parking spot or you can just select one from the map. Like I'm just gonna pick gate 54 parking, set that as my departure. And that's all we need to do. No more flight planning is necessary, but we will need to set a few things up with our plane. So if we come into customization, here is where we can enter our call sign and our flight number that we, se that we set um, on Simbrief. All of that information you can find here in this main section. And there's a couple more things we need to do, so we are going to come over to weight and balance. Now, I am just going to lower my payload a little bit to 25%. So, the only thing we really need to take note of here is our center of gravity, because we may need it later. The game is pretty good about adding this into the computer straight away for us, but just in case it doesn't, take a note somewhere of your center of gravity. So, I'm going to note mine down 20.86, just be aware of that for later. And that's it. Everything else should be good to go. Obviously make sure it's your A320 you've got selected and you can just hit fly and load into the game. Okay, so first things first, we do wanna make sure that the plane is on, but we don't need our engines on as of yet because we need to set up our flight plan. If you don't know how to start up the plane, you can either hold right bumper and press right on the D-pad, that'll kickstart all of the systems automatically for you. Or if you'd like to do it manually and you don't know how, we do already have a video on that. The link will be in the description and it will also be linked at the end of this video because you are gonna need it after this video in order to continue with your flight. But your systems are up and running, you're sat in your parking spot and you're ready to start inputting your data into your flight plan. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over to our FMS, which is a flight management system, which is quite simply just the computer inbuilt into the A320. And we're gonna come up to our init or initialization. And the first thing we're gonna do is enter our from and to airports. So if we jump over to our PDF, the information we're looking for here is this section, EGCC to EFHK, which if you remember from last week's episode is just Manchester to Helsinki. So, as you can see, on the plane itself, there's a slash between the two inputs. So we're going to enter it with a slash in the middle. So we just come down to the computer here. And on Xbox, this is a little long-winded, but I am doing it on Xbox to prove it's possible more than anything. So we go E, G, C, C, and then we're going to hit our slash. E, F, H, K. Once you've done that, you can come up here and hit this soft key next to your from and to sections and that will input the data for you here we have no company route so we simply select return and now you should be able to see your from and to airports here the next thing we want to enter is our cost index which again if we come over to our pdf our cost index is located here ci and it says according to simbrief 59 so we're going to enter 59 into the fms for our cost index so we come down here to our number pad and we just enter 59 and then we're going to come up to cost index and hit the soft key 
and that inputs 59. Now we need to input our cruising flight level and temperature, but the plane will do that automatically for us. So we just need to throw in our cruising flight level, which again on the PDF can be located just here, flight level steps, EGCC 0350. So that's 35,000 or 350 is what you need to enter into your FMS. So again, we come down to the numpad and we just hit 350. And then if we hit the soft key next to our cruise and flight level, it enters that for us as well as our temperature. So that's sorted. So that's page one dealt with. Now, if you hit your next page key and we come to our second page and there's a few things that we may or may not need to enter depending on what the game's done for us. So we've got our zero flight weight, which is normally correct. So I'm going to be leaving that. And then we've got our center of gravity, zero flight weight, center of gravity, which if you remember, I did tell you to note down at the start but it looks like it's got this correct at 20.9. If you can remember, our center of gravity was 20.86. So 20.9, that's correct. We don't need to change that. And then your block fuel is the fuel on board, which you can find just up here on the computer. Um, so we've got 10,600 and it is set at 10.6. So that's correct as well. If any of this information is incorrect, make sure you change it. But if it's correct, and you don't actually need to do anything on this page. So that completes your initialization portion. And the next thing we can do is the fun bit, which is to begin our flight plan. So if you head over to the FPLN button or the flight plan button, you'd be presented with this screen and we can start to add in our flight plan. At the moment, we've got our from and we've got our destination and that's it. If I can draw your attention back to the PDF, so if we just scroll down on our PDF, the data we're looking for now is here under routing. This is essentially our flight plan. And there's a couple of things I just want to discuss really quickly. This is basically all the information that we're going to need right now, um, all the way to Divam here. So from Samba to Divam, this is what we'll be entering. This section here next to EGCC and our Samba 1R and our Divam 4A to EFHK. This is essentially our approach and up here is our takeoff. We're not going to be worrying about that just yet. We're going to get to that once our flight plan is entered. So a couple of things to just explain about the flight plan. This is a waypoint, Samba, and then this is an airway. Now we don't actually need to worry about the airways because the, the computer should input them automatically for us. If it doesn't, there is a way to manually add them, which I will go over, but it should input them automatically so what we need to worry about is just our waypoint so samba hon samba and so on is what we'll be entering today in order to tell the difference between what is an airway and what is a waypoint fairly simple the airways are the ones with the numbers so un859 is an airway p155 is an airway and n873 is an airway and so on in terms of these DCTs, this just stands for direct, and that means there's no airway. So, for example, between Somva and Mavas, there's no airway. So it's just DCT, which is direct. You won't need to enter anything here at all. So the DCTs can be ignored, and for the most part, the airways can be ignored because the game should enter them automatically. I'm going to stop talking, and let's get to it, starting with Samba. So we're on our flight plan page and we're going to enter our first waypoint, which is Samba. So we just come down to the computer, type it in S-A-N-B-A, Samba, which you will see appear here. Once that's in, you just need to hit your destination soft key here. And as you can see now, everything turns yellow. That's because we're editing the flight plan and you can see that Samba has been added to our flight plan. With that in mind, we're going to skip our airway and we're going to go straight to our next waypoint, which is H-O-N or HON. So we simply type in H-O-N and we hit a destination. Now, if you're following along, you might have noticed HON took a while to load in there. If not, though, this is still important. Occasionally, when you enter a waypoint, you'll be presented with this screen um, and this is why it took it a little bit of time to load in Hon. So basically we've entered Hon and we've now got four choices, um, four different way Hon waypoints. 
I mean, need to figure out which one is the correct one for us. There is quite a simple way to do this as long as we're on Simbrief. If we enter the wrong one, it's going to mess up our flight plan. So we need to make sure we're selecting the correct one. And we can do that fairly simply with our coordinates on these waypoints. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to Simbrief and check exactly what our Han waypoint is. So we've got our Han waypoint here just past Solihull. And if we look at our N coordinate, we can see that it's in the 52.4 block so i'm going to use that number to figure out which waypoint it is on our selection so if we come back over to the fms we can see here one of our selections is n52 so there's a good bet that that's our selection right so we're going to hit n52 and that should add hon in for us now we know we've picked the right one because as I mentioned earlier, though we've been leaving the airways out, it has now added in the correct airway, which is N859. And if we do just check our PDF, you can see UN859, which is the airway. So it's given us the correct airway for our waypoint between Samba and Hon. So we know we've got the right one and we can now continue on with the flight plan. And this is why we leave out the airways because the game, well, the computer typically puts those in for us. We're going to skip over our airway, which is P155, and we're going to go straight to Somva. Hit Somva, and then hit Dest. Now, if you ever reach a point here where the flight plan page is full and you can't see what you've just entered, as long as there was no error message, you can rest assured it has been entered. But if you want to double check, you can hit your up key, and you'll see it there, Somva. Now, from Somva, we're going direct to Mavas. So from Mavas, we're direct again to Andik, and direct again, Kekix. So a good example here above Bedham, you can see our airway has been input by the computer automatically, N873, which is the exact same airways as is listed here, N873, on Simbrief. But again, I didn't enter it, it did it automatically, which is why I recommend skipping over the airways, and you can go back and add them manually if you need to. However, typically if it hasn't added it automatically, it's because it's not in the game's database. So, in general, I wouldn't worry about the airways. They should get added automatically as long as they are in the game. If they're not, it's just going to give you the direct route instead, which is going to be fine. So, we are up to Amrak. So, we continue direct to Astos. So, we've input Roxen, and you can see above Roxen, Z451, which again is correct according to Simbrief, Z451, once again done automatically by the computer, so we didn't need to enter that one manually. So again, just make sure you skip over those airways, keep things simple for yourself. Next, we're going direct to Evadi. And we just hit our destination key to add that to the plan. And from Evadi, we're at our final waypoint now, which is Divam, because again, just remember our Divam 4A and our airport is part of our approach, so we don't need to worry about that for the flight plan. We just need to worry about Divam, our final waypoint. So we're going to enter Divam, enter Divam, hit destination. Make sure that's in by just hitting the up key. We can see Divam there. We can also see Y370, which is correct. Y370, according to Simbrief. So once again, airway sorted for is automatic. And with that done, our flight plan is complete and we can just hit insert. Once done, your flight plan screen should turn green and that's how you'll know your flight plan has been entered. Now, just going back through our flight plan, you can see the airways that I did leave out have been added automatically for Samba, for Hon, etc. The rest we went through. So the full flight plan is in. And if you want to take a look at your flight plan, just to make sure it is all correct before you set up the approach, you can come up here, change this to plan. And as long as you're at a suitable distance on your ND range, you can see your flight plan just here. So you can see Samba and then Han, etc. And if we zoom out far enough, we can ha actually hit the up arrow to scroll through our full flight plan all the way to Helsinki. If you are unhappy with your flight plan or you've made a mistake and there's something you need to change, there is a way to erase a waypoint and add a new one in, in in its place. So for example, let's say we want to erase one. 
you come down to this clear button, hit clear, and then if we wanted to erase Hon, for example, we'd hit this soft key next to Hon, and that would remove Hon, and we'd be going straight from Samba to Somba. Now, if that's happened and we want to add in a new waypoint, we'd simply type in Hon, and then we'd hit the soft key next to Samba. So you hit the soft key for the waypoint above where you would like to add one. So if I hit the soft key for Samba, it would add the new waypoint in underneath in between Samba and Samba for Hon. So that's just a heads up if you have made a mistake and you want to edit anything. But if you are happy with your flight plan, we now need to set up our takeoff routine. So to do that, if we just hit our flight plan and then we can actually hit EGCC and then we can hit departure and here we can select our departure. So we're going back over to the spreadsheet to check which runway we need. So here on your spreadsheet, this is the data that I told you to ignore at the start. If you remember, we are looking for EGCC 23R, which is 23 right runway. And we can see 23 right here. So we select 23 right. And then it's going to bring up a list of SIDs. And the one we want to select is again, if we go over to our PDF, we can see Samba 1R. So that's what we're looking for. If we hit our up arrow, we can scroll through and there it is, Samba 1R. So we select that. Once selected, we can hit insert. And once that's inserted, you'll actually see now here, we've got a couple of extra things added in at the start of our flight plan. And if we come up to our plan here, you'll see a bunch of extra information surrounding the actual takeoff, which we could zoom in on. There you go. There's a bunch more data now surrounding actually taking off, getting ourselves out of the airport, which is perfect. At this point, you'd actually be ready to go. You could start setting your plane up, ready for takeoff, get your autopilot set up, taxi yourself to the runway, and off you go. Typically, as you approach Helsinki, you would contact ATC in order to request your landing routine and then you'd set up your approach on the FMS. I'm going to set the approach up now just so you guys are aware of how to do it because I'm not going to go through the whole flight just to show you. So, let's say we're in the air, we're approaching Helsinki and we want to start setting up our approach plan so that we can land at Helsinki. Here's what we're going to do. Similar to how we set up our takeoff, we're going to come down to our destination, EFHK. We're going to select it. And then we're going to select Arrival. And here we will have to select our runway. We can see our runway is EFHK22L, so 22 left is what we're looking for. If we go up, we can see that 22 left has an ILS approach, which is your instrument landing system. If you want the plane to land itself, you're going to need to set up an ILS landing. So we're going to select ILS 22L. Once selected, we just need to select then our star, which is our standard terminal arrival procedure. And if we come back over to our PDF, we can see what we're looking for is DIVAM 4A, which is the first one on our list here, DIVAM 4A. So we're going to select that. And then we are going to select insert. And it all looks good, Divam 4A, ILS Approach 22L. And if you're happy with that, you can hit return. And now if we scroll to the end of our flight plan, you'll notice by Divam, we've now got a bunch of extra waypoints added, Pexen, HK804, HK891, etc. So our flight plan is actually fully set up. Now, if you were to set up a flight plan outside of the game in Microsoft Simulator um, in the world map section, you typically there select your approach and your takeoff routines. So all of this information would have been added in for you. Um, we're basically at that point now. The entire flight plan has been set up. And if you do just zoom out, you can see the whole thing here. Here is our arrival and landing routine all of this information clustered together next to Helsinki. So everything's set up and that's pretty much it guys. At this point, you'd wanna go ahead and request your pushback, ask for your taxi route, set up your autopilot and get your plane to the runway ready for takeoff. If you don't know how to do any of that, I have already made a video on that, so I'm not gonna go over it again, but the link will be in the description for that video. And I'm also gonna link it at the end of this video. So if you're following it as a series, you can just hit that link and 
continue on. But I know most of you have already seen that video and know how to do that. It's the exact same setup. Your flight plan is now in the system and you're ready to go. All of it, of course, set up on Simbrief. So that is pretty much it. If you do want to contact ATC, you can do so here and you can select, uh, you can request, sorry, your taxi path. For example, I requested my taxi path and it's given me my taxi ribbon. So at this point, I'd be requesting pushback once my engines are started and once my AP is all set up and we're ready to go. So that is pretty much it, guys. If there are any questions surrounding the FMS, because I know it can be a little confusing, do let me know. But I think we covered everything in this video. If there's anything else you'd like us to cover on a flight sim or any other game, let us know in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Matane! Thank you.